Interested in learning how to play All Claire de la Lune on the recorder? Stick with me to the end and you'll know how. Hey, I'm Andy Fling, the founder of MakingMusicFun.net. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play All Claire de la Lune on the recorder. Click the link in the description to get the free sheet music and let's get started. All Claire de la Lune is a three note song. B, A, and G. Some kids already know these notes. If you do, you can skip ahead to start learning the song. This lesson will begin by learning these notes. Let's start with the easiest note. It's a B. To play a B, you cover the back hole with your thumb and the first front hole with your index finger. Sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. The next note is an A. To play an A, you cover the back hole with your thumb, first front hole with your index finger, and the second hole with your middle finger. Sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. The third note is a G. To play a G, you cover the back hole with your thumb, the first front hole with your index finger, the second hole with your middle finger, and the third hole with your ring finger. It sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. If any of these notes didn't sound right, you're either blowing too hard or your fingers aren't covering the holes all the way. Just try a few things until the notes sound pretty. That's it for the first part of this lesson. It's time to learn All Claire de la Lune. Grab your sheet music and let's jump in. All Claire de la Lune starts with four quarter notes. Quarter notes get one beat or one tap of your foot. The first three notes are G's followed by one A. You'll play three G's with your thumb and three fingers and one A with your thumb and two fingers. It sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. The second measure contains notes that should look familiar if you started with hot cross buns. They're the first two notes of hot cross buns. B and A. Even the rhythms are the same. You'll play two half notes which get two beats each, or two taps of your foot. B is played with your thumb and first finger, and A is played with your thumb and first two fingers. Sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. Let's put the first two measures together. G, 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 A, B, A. It sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. Measure three also has four quarter notes. Can you name the notes? That's right. G, B, A, A. G is played with your thumb and three fingers. B is played with your thumb and index finger and the two A's are played with your thumb and first two fingers. Sounds like this. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. 
The fourth measure is easy because there's just one note, a G. It's a whole note, so it gets four beats or four taps of your foot. You'll play it with your thumb and three fingers. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. Let's put measures three and four together. G, B, A, A, G. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. You're doing great. If you've been looking ahead, you've seen that the next four measures are the same as the first four measures. That means you already know the whole song. It might take a little more practice before you can play all four measures without a mistake, but let's give it a try. I'll show you what to do and then you can try it. Let's try it together. Ready, play. One more time. Ready, play. If you play those four measures correctly, you're ready to try playing all Claire de la Lune all the way through. I'll show you what it sounds like and then we can try it together. Let's give it a try. Ready, play. Way to go. You're doing great.